what you want. What you want me? What you good? It's your boy Marlon. Huh? 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 And welcome to Marlon's world. First off, I want to thank God for another episode without him. Marlon's world would have not been created. So, special thanks to him. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out to my mom. Amazingly imperfect. Um, clothing brand. She got hats, hoodies, shirts, and etc. So please go to the link in the description. That's on that's the website. Um, for my people that has been here, welcome back. And for my new people, welcome to Marlon's World. Um, once again, this is a place where we could talk about any and everything. Um, and this is a platform where I'm a voice for you guys. So. I'm willing to do that for you. So once again, I appreciate you guys being here. If you're new, subscribe. And yeah, we're finna gonna get into it. So as you guys know, last episode, I talked about what is holding you back from the person you should be. Now, in this episode, this is probably something that is probably holding a lot of people back. or they, And they might not even realize it. And in this episode, we're going to talk about mental health. Now, as you guys may know, and as many of you guys might not know, mental health is a state of well-being in which an individual realizes his or her abilities. Now, mental health is something everyone deals with and goes through at a point in time in their life. Now, and what I mean by that, I mean by poor mental health. You know what I'm saying? Mental health is always something that's important. Well, it should be important to you because when you have a poor mental health, certain decisions you make, certain things you go through within your daily base, daily basis of life or your life experiences, you might go about it the wrong way. Um, so many things can cause poor mental health, you know? Um, and the, the most known things for that is child abuse, neglect, loneliness, and trauma. Now, within our life, once again, we all go through something that makes us have a poor mental state. And when it comes to poor mental health, it affects the entire world. Like we all, once again, we all go through so many, we go through so many things and we really don't really pay attention to our mental. We just, some of us, we either just, we let it sit in us. And it may, either some people, they just let it go very easily. And it all depends on the person you are. Um, since the start of 2021, the, at the age of 18 and younger, almost 60% of the U.S. Have, has not been able to get the right proper care for their mental health. Because once again, once COVID hit, a lot of people didn't know what to do with their life. Well, as far as when I say, and when I mean about the youth, going to college, trying to figure out what school, the grades, you know what I'm saying? Switching from in class to online classes. Like it, it was just so much of a change. And for adults as well, you know, um, almost 11.2% of adults you know, they began to worry. They began to get anxiety because they don't know if they was going to get let go. They don't know if they're still going to keep their job and et cetera. You know, it was so many things that was going on ever since, you know, the beginning of 2020. And I think a lot of people, mental health got really low. You know, once again, that was a that this affected everyone. You know what I'm saying? Every everything that we went through, we kind of we really didn't go through it alone. Everyone was affected in a certain way, whether it was school, a job, um, proper care for your family, um, trying to pay off certain bills, and et cetera. It's, it's just so many things that was going on. And I feel like that for some people, they were able to keep a good mental health. They were able to stay positive. They were able to stay encouraged, even though we were going through this pandemic and and et cetera. But as far as others, not so much. Now, for me, when it comes to mental health, those are one of my like number one priorities in my life. Once again, 
you got to have a good mental health to go about your day and to go about your life. Yeah, you have to do it in a positive way. There's so many things that could really help you. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? There's so many things that can help you have a good mental health. Like for me, I just try and stay positive about everything. I don't look at things in a negative way, even, even though I could. And maybe even though I may have the right to. But the thing is, I'm not, I don't let certain things affect me and my mental health. Because at the end of the day, the things I go through and the things that I experience... I, don't, I really do it by myself. So I kind of really make sure that my mental is at a is it is at a, a good mental state where I can wake up in the morning and I can say like I'm just thankful to wake up. I'm thankful for being here because once again for me, God has been able to let me live another 24 hours. Or God has been letting me able to live another 365 days. God has Obviously, for me, once again, God had sees something to me and feels like I still have a purpose on this earth. And not only he should see it, you should see it within yourself as well. So, but a lot of a lot of other people, you know what I'm saying, they have they have other ways of having a good mental health. And some ways to help them are uh, by talking about their feelings to to someone. Um Sometimes some people need an outlet. Some people need an outlet to talk to someone and talk about how they feel because they just it's so much balled up into them. They need to let it out. And it's always good to have someone there for you to talk and to help you um understand what's going on. And once again, you should always talk to someone that has really already gone through it. Because if you try to talk to someone that's the same age as you and really don't know what's going on, it's going to be hard to really connect with them because they don't know. They haven't experienced. They haven't been in that experience that you're going through. So it's going to be no help at all. Um, another thing is, and this is a known fact, um, sleep. Um, me personally, I think this is something new for me. Um, but this is actually a scientific fact. Um, basically, it just calms the mind, of course. I think everybody knows that sleep is just sleep, you know what I'm saying? You just rest and you just relax your mind, your body, and your soul. Um, it's not necessarily that I didn't know it. I just didn't think that was like a really big like mental stress reliever, you know what I'm saying? But I really do know now. Um, and once again, like I said, just having a positive mindset, having positive people around you. What I mean by that is just removing, removing toxic people and relationships away from your life. Once again, we all live for ourselves. We go through these things in a positive, it through in a positive and negative way, and we only experience it. Experience it really. So, in order to live a good, positive, and healthy life, is just by removing all those toxic things. Whether even if it's just like a toxic job, or you're you're in a toxic group of people you know what i'm saying like for example i'm in college and for me i had I, I put myself around winners because at a point in time i need to be i need to be how can i say this i need to be at a certain point in my life where i'm not going to be the number one person i don't because in that case i'm not learning anything i'm not experiencing anything so I try to set myself around people at a, at that are at a higher standard than me, so that I can learn from them and I can and I can get advice and they could kind of put me through things and just help me understand like how to get through this and make them their mind mentally, physically, and spiritually a better person. So um, I think that's another thing about um, having a good and positive mindset. Now, so many people really wish they could be in someone else's shoes. Like, for once again, another example, my surgery. Like, don't get me wrong. I didn't want to be in it at all. But there are so many other people that wish they had that certain type of surgery. Like, I know I know a couple people that has had a surgery like the eight, like an AC, a torn ACL. Like, they probably wish they had the type of surgery I had because I was only out for two, three months. And once again, I also want to thank Amanda Buff for that. Let me have a successful re recovery and been getting back in tune with, with my sport. So I really do want to thank God for that, of course. 
And but yeah, like certain people wish they had this type of injury or this this little surgery that didn't affect they they um they body and they could get back to their sport as fast as I can. And I really do look into stuff like that. I really do appreciate that. Like I just really think like, you know what? As much as I didn't want this surgery, as much as I didn't want this injury, I just had to be thankful that it that it wasn't worse. I had to be thankful that I already had a successful, a successful surgery and I could come back stronger and more better than the person I was before, two or two, three, four, five months ago. So that's another thing. Um, mental health affects um, how you think, feel, and act. Um, it also helps determine how you handle certain situations and relate to others and make choices in your life. Now, once again, like I was saying earlier, when you have a poor mental health or a poor mental mindset, when it comes to the certain decisions you make, you make them you make them poorly. That's once again, that's why I say I always try to have a good mental health. So if I'm in a bad situation, I can make the right decision instead of just making the wrong decision. So like there could be a time where maybe someone is talking like very harmful about me and if I'm in a poor mindset that day, that day, I can react the way they want me to. But no, I'm not going to do that. The person I am and the person that I made myself with my mindset, I've chose to, you know what? I'm not going to give you the reaction you want. Because in that case, you're winning. I'm not going, I'm not, that's not, I'm not going to let you do that. I'm not going to let you do that to me. I'm not going to let you break down my character for who I am. That I and I and this person that I built for so long, you know. So, once again, mental health is a necessity in life. And if you're watching this, I really do hope that you really look into it. And I really hope that you really look upon yourself and the actions that you've made in the past and some actions that you can make early in the future. Once again, some things that can help you that can have that can help you have a good mindset is once again having a positive mindset, um, sleeping more. Talk to someone about how you're feeling. Um, being able to communicate with others um, and surround yourself with positive people and remove toxic things or people around you. Just be able to wake up in the morning and just be like, you know what? I'm thankful for being here and there shouldn't be no reason for me to be upset or have a negative day. Like, Don't get me wrong once again. Life, it's called life. We're going to get hit with life regardless. But the thing is, it's all about how you react to it. You don't have to react in a negative way. You don't have to react in a poorly way. You don't have to do that just because a situation didn't go your way. You don't have to do that. You can look at the situation and re before you make a certain decision, rethink it. Make sure whatever decision you're making that you're about to make is the right one and not the one that can put you in a bad situ uh, the next bad situation. So... Yep. This is episode three of Marlon's World Mental Health. I really, once again, I do appreciate you guys being here. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share with your family and friends. And I'll be back with you guys next week, episode four. Peace. I get you what you want.